All right, we're back. Ah! No, Noah is finally back. Oh, he's finally oh. here. Back for episode five. Five! Holy crap, dude! We started this like last week. How did you know? I no, was he's... to take a drink from my water bottle, unbranded. I will get the brand out of there. Ah, oh, man, my, mine's branded. Go to ltcstore.com for a great water bottle. I'm not affiliated with them in what in, in any way whatsoever, but I like their water bottles. I don't work there yet. <laughs> you also don't live in Canada. Dude, I uh I sent in an application one time and I Did heard you? back, but I was like, I don't live in Canada, so Okay, so Palm, buddy. Why right when I start the podcast is when you decide that you want up here? Fine. Come on. Come on. Okay. No. No. Okay. Now that I now that I want to allow you, you're being a butthole. Okay. Um. So well, hi. We're, we're back. <laughs> um. We've been hanging we, out for a few minutes, so we're already well adjusted to each other. We are. We also don't really have any uh, any opening <laughs> topics for today. It's kind of been a a week, been, you know. It's been a weird week. Come here, bud. Uh, Just hop up. Man, what? Uh, we've got Facebook changing to Meta. That's the That's... end of that story. Next. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> uh, haven't talked about Apple's new Macs. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, I... they're Macs, Macs. They're Macs, Macs, and Pros. Mm-hmm. Pros? Mac, Macs, yep. Pros, Pros, yeah, Macs. Yeah, yeah, they're Pros, Macs, Macs. Yeah. Or they're, or they're Pros, Pros, Macs. Yes. My, the, my the, brain. The M1 Pros Max Pros or the M1 Max Max Pros. <laughs> For pros. Dude, okay. Named Max. He he keeps hopping up here and just he doesn't scratch at me, right? Palm just keeps hopping up right. and he just touches my arm with his paw. And I go to pick him up <laughs> and he just full standing on his hind legs, just you know. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? Let me love you. Just come here, man. This chair won't stop going back. There we go. So, yeah. Um, that being said, did you watch and or read all of the stuff with Facebook and their, their Connect stuff? I watched some. I watched on YouTube someone like reviewing it like live but they didn't say anything the entire time <laughs> uh so, so they, it was basically just uh basically come just come watch, watch this at the same yeah yeah my uh, face is in the corner but i mean i didn't notice till i was like halfway through that i was like oh my gosh who the heck is that guy oh i'm watching someone's stream <laughs> um it was here, not what i expected at all yeah <laughs> i was expecting you getting slapped. well he's in he's in full like attack mode i guess i picked him up and put him up here but now he's in full attack mode and i don't understand it well, if you're gonna be in attack stop. mode you can go man if you're gonna okay yep now you're gonna lay down good okay good i'm gonna be in full chill mode this stream because i wish lewis would come and lay in my lap <laughs> lewis is a little lewis. big lewis come here is this is this the pet stream? <laughs> Here he is. Okay, and we talk into this. Look, Lewis. No. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Is he wearing a, a best friend vest? <laughs> yeah, it's his harness. It's his harness. Got a little ID right here. I just didn't know because, like, my my uh, my uncle's dog gets nervous with the, if it doesn't have a vest on. Oh, really? Yeah. Lewis hates this thing, but I leave it on because I don't want to try and find it when I need to take him outside. So, anyways. Off of off of the animals, <laughs> um, wherever he went. Um, 
Oh, he's over on the floor. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was a weird stream. Yeah, Apple M1 Max and Facebook doing their yeah. their Meta Oculus Connect stuff. Like, it seemed so all all over the place. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know what if they were like actually releasing something at some parts or if they were they still talking about some dystopian dream. They didn't release anything, I don't think. They, they it was had just like full some, of announcements. They had some uh they had some like software like what's that home thing? Oh yeah, they're world? they're they're changing the uh the, uh, the quests home thing, I think to be more similar to the Rift S to where you like you could yeah. be like social. Yeah. Which is cool. I like that. Um yeah. But they didn't announce when that was happening. Oh, yeah. See, that's... They didn't announce when anything was happening. Um, That was... They did say that project... It starts with a C. I know that. uh, It starts with a D, I think. Do a Google search for me. Or Bing it. Whatever you do. DuckDuckGo? No, you're right. It's a C. Cambria. Okay. I was close. Uh... Yeah, they did say that's coming next year, mm-hmm. which that'll be cool. I mean, I don't know if I'll get it. I'm pretty happy with my quest, too. It would have to be pretty substantial for me to get something else. It would have to be more than just eye tracking. Yeah, see? That's my thoughts. And, exactly. and it would have to be more than eye tracking. And I think that they're, they're adding color cameras yes, for AR I stuff. Did... Yes, I did see that. That's that sounds cool because then pass through would be not uh, a headache. Yeah. Well, and also interesting AR things can be done, but at the same time, AR stuff is not the major selling point for me of VR goggles. Yeah. Same. Um, it's. Playing Actual games and not VR. seeing what's around me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so I don't want to implement a whole lot into my apartment. Like <laughs> I'm playing it so that I could leave. <laughs> yeah. If if and there was having to go to space, you know. If there was a much better processor in it, and it, um, like let's say all the 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 screen specs, other than it being slightly wider field of view, would be nice. Um, yes. but let's say it was basically just better battery life and a power on a more powerful processor at that point I would go yeah sure because more things at that point could do 120 hertz yeah yeah exactly I I will say uh oh yeah since last talking I now have one we still question. need to play games man I know I uh I actually what are you doing after the podcast? I'm <laughs> driving for 45 minutes oh. to go get my license plate. <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, I did down. I did downgrade uh, Beat Saber to version 1.17.1. 1. Mm, so you can mod songs on it. No. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think anyone cares about that. Yeah. No. I don't. No. Nobody like, does. Everybody wants to do it. As long as uh, it's legal in the same way that emulation is legal. You can mod yeah. anything you own. You just can't sell it. Um, and you can't sell it and uh, you should should uh, not always does but should own the songs that you mod in and i do i have cds that my wife buys sometimes it's a pip up by the way this one look at it it's so tiny also not in mint condition it's got a big old crack (laughs) oh my gosh do you sit on your oreos no, it's just that they come in like a box of 12. So it's just like they, they got oh, shaken around and shipping and whatever. Yeah. Shaking around and shipping. That being said, I think these packs are from their, their extras from when I went to the zoo a couple weeks ago. So they were oh. in a backpack. 
love that. But no, we gotta play Oculus stuff at some point, man. I know. I actually, I had someone. So so. When I got my Oculus, I got mm-hmm. it two or three weeks ago. I want to say it was like the first podcast I had to miss. I got it that weekend because I was at a mm-hmm. bachelor party. One of the other guys also bought one, and he asked me, I want to say yesterday, if I wanted to play a game with him. And I was like, no, I am not playing a game with someone else before I play with Chandler. I uh, I feel honored. You are welcome for that honor. I will put it on your gravestone. On my gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> Honored by Noah Smith via Quest yeah. 2. <laughs> and then we'll put the year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually, I've been very impressed with it. Like, if I pull up so I, I've actually had a ton, I say a ton, I've had a handful of VR games even before I bought a VR headset. Are you so using like, AirPlay or, or the physical cable? I, I'll, I'll do either. <laughs> I just, my brain had a stroke. I will do either. But which one? which one are you primarily using? I'm primarily using the cable. At the moment. Um, I have like a business ubiquity internet setup currently, and uh, things don't like to switch from yeah. one of the access points to the other. So if I'm, you know, that would be really nice if I was sat if I have my computer in here, and then I'm playing out in the living room. Uh, that would be nice because this is hooked up. Actually, this is hooked up to a 10 gig switch, but it's only a one gig connection to the living room in there. But I don't think, I don't think the, that's going to bottleneck you. In, in. Yeah, no, not at all. Um, but sometimes whenever I'm playing out in the living room, my headset will be connected to this access point. That's actually just sitting on the floor behind me under the server rack. Yeah. So sometimes well, it's a, it actually I had one time where it was so bad. I was like, I'm going to throw up. I would look and the flame and, would stay. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I, and I had I that was issue. Like, I have for... to exit and it wouldn't. I had that issue for a little bit. Um, yeah. And I, it was only in one game. And that game is Tabletop Simulator, and it's because I just cranked oh. the settings up to max. Yeah. Um, which puts on, like, eight times SMAA, so it just, like, super samples to 8K. And no. to... <laughs> That's crazy. That's awful. I need to get that game. I did not know that it was also VR. Yeah, it has a VR mode. Um, it's not it, full. Like, it's not. At it's at your desk? Yeah, you can. I can sit at my desk. I can move my chair out. I cleared a decent space in the office recently. I, I organized everything, and I now have yeah. access to my arcade machines. But there's a there's about a five by seven foot, probably longer than seven foot, but six by six 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 five by eight foot room uh, that I have now to be able to play, which is great. Heck yeah, in my dude. office, which is uh, right next to my router. So. I, my like, my modem is hooked up in our bedroom in the closet. And then I just took all my, I just used my like AV tools. And so I crimped new ends mm-hmm. on at the connection. And then I drilled a hole from our bedroom to the uh, living room and then I put another end on in there and so the way it works is it connects to modem goes to the living room right Mm -hmm. to my like dream machine pro like server router and then it connects 
into where I drilled, and then it goes all the way back to the modem, but I just plugged it in, and then it comes all the way to the line in here. So I did way too much work to get that to work. Yeah. I also have to patch the wall, and I haven't done that yet. Too much fun. <laughs> nah. I don't know. I, I've I've been using AirLink, but I normally actually don't play anything from my computer that much because I have some computer games, right? Yeah. Um, but I owned a uh, PlayStation VR before the Quest. Yeah. And so a lot of stuff I have is on there. And all of the stuff that's on there that I want to play is also on the Quest 2 natively. Yeah. And so other than I have Half-Life Alex, I have Skyrim VR. I have budget cuts. Uh, but I got those for free. Yeah. Which is, What's uh, it's, it's like a portal ish like game, well, but you cool. also, it's like mix portal with, um, <sighs> Hitman kind of, mm. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's interesting. Um, and I have those, I, I have one and two, because there's two of them, and I have Job Simulator, yeah. but Job I Simulator I also got for free. I've played that so much, though, like on other people's that mm -hmm. I'm like, do I buy it? Because then I feel like I'll play all of it in like one setting. Yeah, and you that that's the thing is, I got it for free. Like I, I contemplated getting it on the Quest 2 as like a demo for like family and friends and stuff like that. Yeah. But I was like, but other than that, I'm never going to play it. And it's not worth, Yeah. Uh, I think it's like, I don't, I don't even know how much money it is. Uh, well, 20 bucks. So it's it's not really worth 20 bucks for me. Yeah, I was going to say 20 bucks, I feel like I could get something else. Yeah, and I can, and I did because, um, oh, he's finally, so I got Palm at the store. Brooke doesn't know this. I went to the store earlier today. Um, and I bought Palm two, two beds. Yeah. I put one over here next to Brooke's desk and between a file cabinet and, and I put the other one on top of his perch, uh, on top of his cat tower in the living room. Yeah. And, uh, and he's, he's sitting in it and he's making biscuits. <laughs> he's making biscuits. Oh man. He's going to be making great biscuits. Palm makes great biscuits. <laughs> so yeah, he's, uh, he's over there. And he's, he's in it, and that actually makes me really happy because he Make normally doesn't like biscuits. beds. Yeah, man, he's he's needing to you needing needing the biscuits. I'm dead. Um, biscuits. So yeah. That's so funny. So yeah, I hope that he likes them. They're not big. They they're like they're about the size of him when he loafs, so you can't like sprawl out on them. But yeah. <laughs> um, Dude, you've got some. You I like these words. Well, I, I mean, like they're they're said. generic cat words. Loaf. Yeah, when he loafs, you know, when a cat loafs, and so like their legs are all underneath them, so they just look like a loaf with a tail. Yeah. Um, and he's making biscuits, you know, he's kneading the dough. Um, uh, yeah, so. I love that. I want a cat so bad. No, you don't. I know, but I do. Like in my in the back of my heart. So, anyways, I I hope that he actually likes the bits because. They were uh, incredibly cheap. <laughs> so, have you seen uh, or have you played Boneworks? Um, I played Boneworks for thirty minutes and it gave me excessive motion sickness. Yeah. Um, part of that. I... Part of that is before that. Before I played that, the only and I, I don't own it. I played it on um, someone's Rift S. Um, mm -hmm. But. Um, Gideon's Rift S, sorry. Um, yeah. I, I said someone, but I was like, no, you all know Gideon. He's part of the team. Um, <laughs> I played it on his Rift S. He brought it over one time, and and, uh, and I played it, and it gave me motion sick. I had never played a, um, a game that actually moved you before. I played Beat Saber. I played Super Hot. Yeah. And I played other games where, like, you were a god figure, right? You were, you were, like, overhead, and you, like, moved stuff around. But Yeah. Um but I hadn't played anything where like you were first person and moving. Um, mm -hmm. and so it gave me motion sick mixed with like 
the it's an 80 hertz screen on the Rift S, I think. And oh, uh, despite it, despite everything else about PlayStation VR being uh, lower quality than than other stuff, it's a 120 hertz panel. So yeah. like the games that the games like Beat Saber and Superhot support that because yeah they aren't graphically intensive. Yeah. Um. So. I feel like with Boneworks, because I, like I, I was watching a lot of Nodes videos about it, mm-hmm. just like just like the way that the game is, I feel like to have the full experience, you have to have the Valve Index. Like you don't. I can don't tell you that that is. I can tell you that that's actually not true because all controllers basically have capacitive buttons. That's so, true. So do I, um, I I just couldn't do a lot. I noticed that with the controllers, it didn't feel how I thought it would feel. Yeah. It you will probably get more out of it with the index and its full like grip check or whatever yeah. finger articulation check and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um but because there's capacitive buttons on everything, you know, you could just I don't yeah. know. Um, yeah. That being said, again, it, for me, it's... On top of that, Boneworks is one of those games that it's like, it's cool. Yeah. It's for a, a little bit, step. but it's also one of those things where I'm just like, I don't... I would prefer we play something that is... Like, if I'm going to play, like, a physics like, game, I'm gonna, yeah. you know, that where I, like, fight people, I'm going to play, like, Blade and Sorcery. Sword. Yeah. Which, Blade, by the way, also announced in the oculus connect facebook connect thing yeah. blade and sorcery is coming out and i think that i think that did get an announcement date i think that's like november 20th or something like that um, i want to say that you are correct uh oculus quest oh, blade and so- november 4th november 4th oh that's six. So even closer week. yeah which i'm gonna get immediately like yeah dude that's gonna be so cool too yeah like that that is a demo game for people right like, yeah there, there are games that are demo games beat saber super hot um but like that's going to be one that's just like now you want to see like some like weird fun crap that you can do that's not just like this canned package of like yeah. music or stuff that's just like yeah just go ham and mm-hmm. so yeah but, um yes as you said gta how's that gonna work dude <laughs> san I andreas I don't want to think about it until it's out. But also, is it going to look? It's going to look like I, the remasters. Yeah. Is, are they are they overhauling and making it in like a GTA Five art style for VR? Are they? What are yeah, they doing? Is it going to look like dog butt? Is it Here's full San Andreas or is it going to be one of those things where it's just like it's oh. GTA San Andreas stories, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's like a VR thing where it's like. Experience. More yeah, than... it's a VR experience in San Andreas where it's like, yeah, you have yeah. some shootouts, you have maybe like a driving sequence or something like that. Like the Darth Vader game. Um, yeah, I, I still need to play that. Um, the, here's have... the here's the difference. With the Darth Vader game, though, it's... First off, I don't think it was ever really advertised as a game. It was... It was yeah. I think they always use the word experience. Well, but that's, also, that's, it's that's it's a Star up, Wars like, thing. It is an experience. Yeah, and it's a Star Wars. So you know, three hundred and sixty degree audio and visual Star Wars yeah. that you get to interact with. Yeah, and and it's it's a story. It's not a game. It, it is you know there and there are game really elements. Gritty. Yeah, there are game elements, but it's it's more meant for the story. Have um, you played the IKEA VR experience? <laughs> no, but I want to. <laughs> It's free. It's I know. Free on Steam. I, I know. Have it downloaded. Um, you know what is honestly really cool? Snow. Google. Google Earth. Google Paint. Oh. Oh, Google Paint. Yeah. Uh, but Google Earth. Um, by the way, uh, if you you uh, you have side load, uh, on your on your Oculus, right? Mm-hmm. Get uh get a get an app called Multi Brush. It's free. I and saw it's, that. It's so. Here's the thing. Google's uh, Google's brush thing. Brush. Google Paint, whatever it is, um, yeah. uh, is open source and free to everyone. But doesn't it you you have to you have to pay for it? But they made the code open source, 
and completely free to to use and so people made a multiplayer version of it so you can go in and like create and like draw with other people it's called multibrush oh. multibrush it's like already ava it's available on Oculus. is it app lab i think it, i think it might be app lab instead then yeah multibrush is on the oculus store is it like fully on the oculus store now yeah no it's it's on the app lab it's available through app lab oh, it's warning apps from app lab having yeah. oh my bad my b it's still free and it's it at that point it's still native install on your yeah. quest but you have to install it through like your phone app or something like that or like through your account on the web browser you can't just install it from the device but it's yeah. a it's multiplayer uh version of that thing and it's free because google made that free they've also made their google maps thing free so there's a paid thing i think it's on sale right now but uh on yeah. quest called wander and it's literally just google earth uh but also multiplayer i did some oh okay we're good never mind you good i uh i plugged in my headset i'm downloading multibrush <laughs> Or oh, I'm, 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 I'm loading it right now. Yeah, and uh, it's good. And because uh, it's it's literally just the Google thing. <laughs> there we go. Oh, sweet! Now I have it. It's so e honestly, it's, it's so easy to do. You know what else is App Lab and free? What? Uh, what's that? What's that one where you're uh, an ape? Ape tag? Monkey tag? Yo! Gorilla tag. Gorilla tag. It's it's on the Quest 2, it's free, and it's an app lab. I forgot about that. Um, I think Pavlov, uh, whatever it's called for the Rift, or for the Oculus Quest, mm -hmm. uh, has a version. It's not Pavlov VR, That's it's called Pavlov Shack. Uh, it also yes. has a, a an app lab thing, free. There's, there's a lot of good free experiences if you know what App Lab is and you just know what to Google. Um, yeah. They are technically on the store, but you can't get to them right. natively from the device. You have to like have it on a web browser or your phone. Mm -hmm. um, but they're accessible still. You don't have to sideload anything on on the device. You don't have to to you know. Yeah. It's just that those are things that haven't been. Uh, either fully approved or not fully out for the store yeah. yet. Well, I was going to say with Pavlov Shack, mm -hmm. I want to say it is it was going to cost if it's on the store, but if you get it through App Lab, it doesn't. It's cost. not out on the store yet. That much I do know. Um, but I think I think when it comes out on the store, it will cost. Prob yeah. And and that would make sense. Yeah. Um, adding gorilla tag to my uh list. into your download list. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So here's here's the the thing is a lot of people are just like VR is expensive. The Quest Two is three hundred dollars if you can find it. Yeah. Um, which is not that expensive. It's still pricey. But compared to a thousand dollar computer and a three to five hundred dollar headset, let alone a thousand if you get the index, um, yeah, you know, I was about to say. it's it's not much. Um, PlayStation VR is three hundred dollars for a console or five hundred dollars for a console, and then three hundred dollars. Did you see them in the background hop up? Yeah, yeah. And and then three hundred dollars for the headset. But the Quest yeah. is just three hundred dollars flat. You can get most of the stuff that's on PlayStation VR. Um, some stuff not. Um, Astrobot's Rescue Mission, fantastic VR game, only available on PSVR because it's exclusive. Oh yeah, Astrobot. But um, like a whole bunch of stuff is on there. You have, like I said, Super Hot, Beat Saber, and all the expansions for it. Um, and exclusive to the Quest version, I think, is a 360 mode. So there's like, yes, you know, Beat Saber. You have one hand mode. You have two hand mode. You have 90 degree mode, and that's available on I think all platforms. But on the quest you have 360 degree mode for the songs that do support that it obviously has to be added i to did not songs. know that that was exclusive because that well on everything else there's a chord and on playstation vr it's not even possible yeah. um so i don't think it can on uh, the rift s might have it 
because yeah. that's all internal tracking. But again, there's still that cord. Um, yeah. So. Oh, that's so cool, dude. I did not, I did not know that. Yeah. And so like, and, and you know, that's paid stuff. Um, and if we're talking about other like good paid stuff, there is yeah. um, Moss. You play as, uh, as like, as like again it's an overhead view it's a third person game but there's like a mouse that you help do stuff and it's really cool um you have the star wars stuff both vader and um whatever the other one's called that's actually a game so you have all of that oh, stuff yeah and if you want more powerful stuff that can't run on the system itself like half-life alex if you do have a pc if you have a good router and Wi-Fi and, and a good connection, AirLink. Otherwise, get a USB-C cable that has good enough length and connection, and mm-hmm. you're good. Yeah. Um, so, and if we're not talking paid content, a whole bunch of free stuff. Um, yeah. A game half and half, half plus half, yeah, uh, is... I was- I actually Good played that because of game. your suggestion. That was like really wacky. Like There's some arms. of them that are yeah. Some of them are good. Some of, some some of the stuff in it is good. Some of it's just like cool to like chill in. Um, like the yeah, hang glider thing. Yeah, the hang glider one is just well. I mean, which hang glider one? Because there's there's one where it's just there's one where you literally just go straight it's... to like yeah. Yeah, we, it's and... it's like a Flappy Bird. But, yeah. Uh, so there's one that's basically like Rocket League, but there's it's it's all flying, and so it's a first person Whoa. perspective thing. It's cool. Uh, there's a hide cool. and seek mode, which is really cool, where one person's giant and the, all the hiders are small. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, it is. Brooke and I play it by ourselves sometime, but like, does she have um, one? Yeah, yeah. Brooke and I both have a have a quest too. Well, have her friend me. I will at some point. Yeah. Heck yeah. She's at work right now. Oh. So. But yeah, we could like, we three could hop on. We could get Logan in because Logan's got a Rift S and we could all He's just like not, play hide oh, and seek. Oh, yo. Um, Dude. We can't all three play Beat Saber because he, his Beat Saber is on Steam, sadly, and that's not cross platform. Oh. Yeah. You can't, you can't cross platform Beat Saber, which is kind of. Well, tell him to stop it. Well, I'm not going to tell him to either buy it again on the oculus store dude that would that would be so mean that would be so Um, mean it would be great to play multiplayer with him sure but also i'm not gonna do that um yeah also more free stuff um well vr chat everyone knows that but that's not exactly a game that's more just like a chill thing but like yeah um the rec room it's literally just well, the lab, but that's Steam. So if we're talking about on device, oh, there's there's oh, something called yeah. the Rec Room, which is basically like mix oh, VR chat with that. actual games. Yes. And so like I, there's like a paintball oh, game that Brooke and I have played in it. Yes. And so like it's I, it's you know, it's basically I just the like tutorial of that the other day. Yeah, it's one of those things oh, where oh, you oh. definitely have to have your VR legs a little bit because there is a lot of movement and. Yeah. Um, I w- I was definitely like. But. At no, some um, again, that's one of those things where it's like we could get a a, a group going and like get into paintball and yeah. and just play the paintball and that'd be fun. That would be so. F- I would be so down for that, dude. So that'd be there's great. a lot of good I free stuff. Discord. Do you have Discord on your headset? Uh, no. Did you sidle a Discord or did you just like? Or, yeah, I have I have Discord on it. No, I I, I did not. I originally thought about doing this call that way. Well, and I was like, <laughs> oh, well, they wouldn't see me. That'd be dumb. They wouldn't see you. Um, so no, I don't have Discord. Partially because I don't think it'd stay open when you get it's, into another no, game. That being not, said, uh, you can get into voice calls uh, through like Facebook Messenger in the app, in the in the device. Now. I just learned that the other day. Yeah, so you can get into like a voice call party and and go into games that way as well. That's so cool. You should get. Listen, I know that you probably are not a golf person, but you should get Top Golf slash Pro Putt. Okay, I've I've been very much contemplating it. You want to know why like, you should? Why? So first off, even if you aren't a golf or mini putt person, mini putt is actually fun, uh, and I like the golf thing. I have but, that. I um, I you get have well, almost 
beaten all the normal. Well, in in the Top Golf, it's called Top Golf slash Pro Putt, and there's a mini putt yeah. course in it. Oh, is there really? Um, yeah, and you can also just hang out in the lounge area of the Top Golf and play like hacky sack or not hacky sack. Um, uh, what's the one where you throw it into like the hole and the other person's uh, cornhole? Yeah, you can play cornhole, and what? you can set up. Like there's a ton of screens around in the lounge area. You can turn on turn on any video that that supports it, and so I could just like Are you turn serious? on. I could turn on like a you Twitch turn on stream like a movie? or like uh, I'm not sure if Netflix is supported because of uh, HTCP. files. It, I think there is a local file option. Um, that being said, if we were to do that, I would say let's just like get big screen. Because uh, I big also screen, have big screen. Big screen beta can do that, and I could like run that from my computer and just like yeah. have anything open. But uh, no, a, like if if we wanted to like hang out and play like you know a game of cornhole and then like play pro putt for a little bit or not yeah. not pro putt because that doesn't have the screens up. But like we could just like throw up a Twitch stream or like YouTube videos or stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, honestly, and that would be, that would be so, so much easy. fun. And then big screen, yeah. Local files. No. Um, for no. for local files, though, the other person also needs access to the local file. Um, oh. But if I were I to, if I were to start it from my computer, if I were to start big screen from my computer and be in that, yeah, I could throw up YouTube or Netflix or Crunchyroll or something, yeah. right? And then she'd be like, "What do you want me to throw on?" Yes, I joined a uh, a big screen uh, karaoke room when I first got yeah. my uh, my headset, dude. The people on VR have there's something lots else. of confidence. Yeah, there's something <laughs> else, but but no, there, there's a ton of good free stuff on the quest, and a good ton yeah. ton of good free or good paid stuff as well, but. Yeah. There's a ton I of mean, free stuff. You might have to look in like I'm, I'm trying to remember. Um App Lab Games. Um There is a website I'm trying to remember. I think it's just applabdb.com. I think it's just literally applabdatabase.com. Yes. Um but it it like has a list of all the App Lab stuff. A lot of them are free, some of them are paid cuz you can you can make your App Lab games paid. Yeah. But a lot of them are free. And so like uh there's a there's a roguelite dungeon crawler called Ancient Dungeon, which I've played a little bit of. Really cool. Uh, Gorilla Tag is on there. Pavlov Shack, yes. which is basically just a, a cut down Pavlov VR. Um, oh. There's a weird like physics racing game called V Speedway. I played some of it. First off, you definitely need your legs. V Speedway um, Alpha. Yeah, you, you need your you need your VR legs. It's very much one of those things. But it's like, do you know? Have you ever looked or watched people play Hand Simulator and like that go kart thing in it? It's basically that. Hey, what? There's a game hand called Hand Hand Simulator. It has a VR support, but it doesn't allow you to use like motion tracking, which is really dumb. Oh. Um. Yeah. That's weird. Uh, apparently, there's an App Lab game called The Unity Cube, which is literally just the I Unity game. It's just a cube. Yeah, um, Harvest VR is actually really good. It's just like a chill. I was about to ask you about that. I saw uh, that on like page two or three. Yeah, it's just like chill, hanging out, and a lot of people use um, use App Lab as like their demo page as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so like they they like started on App Lab, they updated through App Lab, and they got put on the store. But they just they were just like, here's the free version. It's an app that's like a demo. It doesn't yeah. have all of the content that went into the thing. To, to the full version um one of those is uh there's like a a disc golf game that has like Whoa. it has it's got a full 18 course uh thing in yeah the app lab version but they also have an actual uh version on the store itself that has like an extra couple courses but it's basically just like if you want to try it out here's the app lab uh there's a game called t for god it's, I have that. I downloaded that. Did you read the the stuff? It basically uses your your room, your your layout, yeah, um, and just like creates like a labyrinth. It's it's trippy. Yeah, I actually I only started it up. I actually I didn't load that up on. I I want to say I side quested that. It's it's very possible, because. Most of the time, if they have a uh, 
an app lab version they have a side quest version and or the side quest yeah. version links to the app lab page and a pc vr version yeah um yeah it looks so cool but i didn't i didn't start it yet yeah i only loaded it up to see if uh if uh side loading things had worked yeah here's uh here's another thing if if you're looking for uh for like a Wii Sports type game, yes. Uh, get a game called Sports Scramble. It's only got three different sports. It's got tennis, baseball, and um, bowling. But such as the name Scramble, uh, you can play just regular mode, um, right? And the the baseball plays very much like how Wii Sports baseball plays. The bowling plays like how we bowling plays, um, and the tennis plays uh, kind of like how we tennis plays, but it's only one v one. It's not two v two, and all and all of the games are only one v one or solo. But uh, the scramble, you can play modes where like if in the baseball mode, you can turn on scramble, and so. It makes where like if you throw the ball in certain locations, like at certain targets behind the yeah. the batter, you can get like a bowling ball to throw at him, and so you could bowl Whoa. the ball at him, or you could get like a frisbee or like a, a pool ball, and then you could get certain special ones where when you throw that, if the batter <laughs> hits it, it turns their bat into like a cue stick or like a I hockey. Say, you know, I just saw someone someone just bowled with a pineapple. Yeah, and that that's that's part of the scramble and so in bowling you can bowl with all those different balls but also if you hit certain things it could change the layout of the the alley so it could make it to where like the alley has like a jump in it or like it's a very thin you know what? or like gutters you know and so it's like it's very cool and tennis has the same concept and so i was gonna say it looks like it has challenges too um yes i uh, challenges slash training mode it, yeah they play very much as like a training mode but wow and this it's is just a native game yeah it's a native game and it's a lot of fun it really is um wow brooke and i have played it uh i played it with logan the other day um wow. so this is amazing vr like, is awesome there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do and uh yeah so if you've been on the fence about a quest and thinking, well, I don't know if there's games that I would want to play on it because, you know, it's not like a full rig. It is. It, it's yeah. not only we're, if you have a PC, can you set it up as, tell you that as the full wrong. rig, but also there's a ton of stuff that's native on it that runs great. And most of them are the stuff that you'd want to anyways. Like I said, Blade and Sorcery is coming out November 4th. There's Beat Saber, Super Hot. Um, yeah. There's just chill spaces. You can uh, play VR chat and Rec Room yeah. on it. Um, I mean, I've so I mainly got mine so that I could play Beat Saber as like my workout because I work out of town and I just stay in an Airbnb and I don't have like a whole lot of access to like go to the gym. All like really, all I could do would be just like walk and that's it. Push ups so on the floor of the on, Airbnb, you know? Yeah, exactly. On that creaky wood floor that. I've definitely already got splinters from, uh, but yeah, from literally from that, I think from having the headset, I've lost like, like 10 to 15 pounds from just like playing beat saber for like two hours until I'm literally dripping in sweat and the headset is like sliding around. Yeah. Also, uh, and then the, this is, we've all also just been talking about like game stuff. Like I said, there's, also stuff like big screen yeah where you can like literally just hang out chill out friend. and and watch a movie in vr yeah uh, i mean like you know there's youtube like, vr so which is an awesome experience especially for like videos that support like 180 or 360 yeah very cool and for games that are like Honestly, just amazing, kind of like Arizona Sunshine. I where... can't because zombie. See, that's what I, that well, that's what I was about to get. That's what I was about to say is, 
if you can handle zombies, like if you're okay with zombies, play it. That being said, there's other um, there's other shooters like wave shooters similar to that. What's that robot one? Oh my gosh! Um, I cannot think of the name. Oh um, my god! Slash, does that even exist anymore? Because I know at one point. Oh, by the way, there's also like a Walking Dead on it. So like, yeah. Um, is it Aspire One? Is that what it is? A bit like no, no, it's not Aspire One. Is there a Ro fall Robo sale Recall? Ro Robo Recall. There Robo is recall. a Halloween sale going on. So if you do like horror stuff, it's on sale. And there's some other stuff that's that's on sale right now as well. Almost every single VR game is on sale right now. Like Job simula Simulator is yep. like 16 bucks right now. So it's solid. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the game is called Robo Recall. And uh, really and it's it's that like really fun. It's your it's your wave shooter, but yeah. it's robots instead of zombies. So mm -hmm. let's see. No, we gotta play VR. I know, <laughs> dude. I know. Oh, by the way, there's also a game that literally just came out: Resident Evil Four VR. Yes. Yo. I like, I feel like I don't know if I could do that. I feel like I'd be. Too oh, scared. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. But okay, that makes me. Feel it's better. it's literally a fully fledged, like like that's a fully fledged exclusive to Oculus Quest VR game. So like, yeah. Now, if you're a person that's just like, I don't like the fact that I have to sign with the Facebook account. At some point, they're actually removing that starting like next year, I think. Uh, yes. They announced but, that they were removing that requirement, but what I thought that meant. Because they brought that up during when they were specifically talking about work. Yeah. I didn't know if maybe that... That's everything, but that they're also rebranding their company name as Meta, and so Facebook is a, is a thing under that. And so your Oculus yeah. account slash it will be a Meta account because they're renaming Oculus to MetaQuest 2. And yeah. You will have a Meta account. It's the same thing, but it won't be Facebook. And so... Yeah. But it's still Facebook. I literally Facebook. made a Facebook for just, just to, this <laughs> yeah. yeah so i'm wondering like will i be able to like like i believe that stuff? i believe that they said that when that stuff rolls out you should be able to unlink the accounts and still keep your purchases okay i don't 100 percent know how that's going to work i don't think that they 100 yeah. percent know how that's going yeah, to work yeah exactly that's but that what is what they have say. said also no you know another oh. game that that we need to get at some point not anytime soon because i've spent enough money on games recently um it's called uh demio d-e-m-e-o oh i saw that on the on here it's it's basically like a a card slash it's it's like yeah there it is it's it's a tabletop rpg in vr yeah i feel like i think i think you and i talked about that over text at one point possibly but no there's like a whole talking about e3 bunch or something i know that they announced a second one at some point this, I don't remember when they announced the second one, but they did announce the second one. What what does this game remind me of? Why can't I think of the name? What Demio? Hand is it Hand of Fate? Potentially, uh, but Hand of like Fate is similar. you have more control over the character. Yeah, I'm trying to find it on my games list. I mean, Hand Hand of Fate is very likely. I I want to say that's what I'm thinking of. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Oh, so, that's my... but uh, no, I think that that would be fun to do. Yeah, I think that'd be great. So, we need to have some. Uh, I've no, already got. Some we gotta. We gotta have a. To we gotta have a a VR night with like Andy, you, yeah. me, Brooke. You know, we just gotta Everyone. get. We gotta get people in. Get them play all some in. VR. Get yeah. him, get him, play some tabletop simulator, and just play like Cards That's Against what I Humanity. Think of the name, 
Y oh my gosh. Yes. Dude. You, you got me. BR? Well, there's Logan in the chat. What's up, dude? Hey. Yeah, we're, we're talking about VR stuff and, and ooh. I, I need to, I need to, I want to play multiplayer VR with people, man. Yeah, because it's awesome. I mean, I wouldn't know because I haven't done it, but I mean, <laughs> I just know it's awesome. So. And now I know people that actually have them, so. Yeah. Noah. Screw your car's license plate. Drive drive illegally. Play VR. <laughs> You're right. You are so right. You've never been more right. Yeah. Hannah is actually... We're going to play, I think, the lab later. Mm. If uh, if uh, Airlink will cooperate. Yeah. What are driving rules? They do not exist. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Also, we spent like the past like hour talking about Oculus. We did not even you... touch the the Apple. Oh, yeah, that's stuff. fine. Every everybody else has. Everyone already knows <laughs> about that. Yeah. Yeah. But man, I just ordered one because my uh I I never use my MacBook Pro anymore. I mean, it runs it just runs Windows, but I booted into Mac OS so I could do something. I think update something. And it, it was like, check your battery. Uh, your battery does not charge as much as it should. Blah, blah, blah. And it was like, see what you can do. And I clicked on the see what you can do. And it literally took me to like the repair website i was like i don't pay, want to do that. pay five thousand dollars for a new battery on your two thousand dollar laptop uh-huh exactly yeah. i'd rather just buy a new laptop i'd rather sell this laptop back to them i'd have to take all my stickers off nah laptop sucks that's why for, uh... i don't have a laptop anymore and i have reserved a steam deck yo that's a good For point. Sometime, <laughs> sometime in the second half of next year. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I'm hoping that, honestly, what happens is that they're just like, yeah, we're way ahead of schedule on production. Here's yours, like, in December, you know? You're hoping they pull an M1, like an OG M1 release? Yeah, where, where they're just like, <laughs> it turns out we, like, pro overproduced a ridiculous amount of these. <laughs> Here's yours early, and, like, we're actually just selling to the general public now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you share stuff with, like, can you share, send games on uh, Steam to people? Is on there a share Steam? Option? D define share, like, like just, like, link what the game is? Yeah. Uh, probably. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I want to know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. It's nothing. Are, are, is, is this going to me or is this going to someone else? <laughs> oh, no. All right, what the heck is this? Oh, hey, hey, don't hate. Brooke likes that game. I'm not, dude. I love this game. This is me just realizing that Wizard 101 is on Steam. It only got added on Steam a little bit ago though, because Brooke like downloaded it off of the web page and like had to deal with their own crappy launcher. And... Oh yeah, I dude, trust me, I remember launcher sucked. So I also remember like maxing out to like level ten at the time. And not being able to do anymore because it was all behind a paywall. I just downloaded Brooke the game. Brooke likes the game. And I used to like the game. But I, to be honest, I'm not... I'm not a huge MMO person. I really liked Final Fantasy XIV for a little while. What? Uh, and by for a little while, I meant like over the summer. Okay. Um, but then I was just like, I don't want to keep paying money. On it, yeah. Because like, there's... The big thing is I have other I games I want to play. I got into it because you were into it. I had no one to play with, right? Yeah. Um, because the Twitch streamers that I watch were all on a different server. And so I couldn't join oh. their, their clan. Yeah. Um, so I had no one to play with. And because Brooke didn't really want it. and Yeah. Uh, and I was just like, I enjoyed the three months or so, four months or whatever that I played it. But then I was just like... yeah. 
I don't need to renew. I, no, you know, if there's no need, there's there's no need. Like I don't, I don't play it enough to warrant renewing because I know it will require more than just like, it will require more than a year for me to get through all the story content. So I'm just like, nah, I'll, I'll hold yeah. off. Like yeah. when the, like when Co Carnage, right? He's he's a Twitch streamer yeah. that I watch a lot of. He uh, started playing through Final Fantasy XIV. And his goal is to beat all the story content, and he's did not get anywhere near that, and so he's still got to play more. And then Endwalker uh, or, or whatever the the DLC is, the this upcoming expansion yeah. is called, but that's coming out. And like he played it nonstop every single day for like ten hours, um, for like for a couple months, and like no nah, if i'm sitting down for like Maybe. 3 hours every like 3 days to play it it's going to take me yeah. like so long especially cuz i don't have a party to play with you know i'm yeah, soloing everything I was about to say. see did you say i'm so lonely i'm soloing everything i'm so lonely <laughs> no one play for with me i'm so lonely well i mean i i i will be ready for you to play halo infinite with me uh, that, well, here's the the problem with that, Noah, is I don't think I want to play a multiplayer shooter, and the single player campaign doesn't have co op at launch oh, and also costs money. That's right. What? It's on. It'll be on a Game, Game Pass. Pass. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's fair. But like, I like owning my games. It'll be on Game Pass. It'll be on Game Pass. Yeah, I don't have Game Pass right now, so I still have to purchase Game Pass. Oh, never mind. Never yeah. mind then. We'll start with that next time, ding dong. <laughs> like, Game Pass is still cheaper than the whole game, but... Yeah. Also, are we going to beat it in a month? <laughs> yes. Doubt. How, wait, I'll just add you to my family. I don't think both of us could be playing at the same time then, though. On top of that, does that even work? That, that, that's how Game Pass works. All I know is that's how it worked on PlayStation. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how it all works. That's how I played uh, the Division, because Trevor owned it. Also, how you played uh, Sound and Shapes. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't have any other games. And this is not how you played this. But Trevor is also how you played Putty Squad. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> such a, that, such a that bad man, game. That man did not... That man did not know how to buy games. Well, I, uh, do you remember the story? It wasn't him. It was his dad. Oh, it was, it was his dad. Yeah, it was his dad that was just like, I'm going to buy Trevor a game. And he went and he was like, "This one's four dollars." Yeah, he was like, "This one's cheap and not violent. Let's get Trevor this." Oh, that's awful. That's so. I'm bad. like, it's a sweet gesture from his dad. Oh, for sure. But also, Trevor. like the worst game. <laughs> but you can bet your butt we played the crap out of Putty Squad. We played like an hour <laughs> Putty Squad. Yeah, the the crap out of it. There's yeah. not a whole lot to it. So, that being said, uh, Noah, I have put Putty Squad on on all of my devices. <laughs> <laughs> have you really? It's on my Vita. I cannot believe you. It's on my 3DS. I you are you are uh, you are something else. It's on my 2DS. It's on my Wii U. It's too much. <laughs> too many slices. I do it for the meme, man. It's so <laughs> it's so if you ever come over and hang out, you'd be like, hey Noah. Putty squad. Dude, I'm gonna play I'm gonna have all I'm gonna have them loaded up on every single device. Oh, it's so funny. Should I should I show you? I'm gonna prove it. Do it. I'm gonna do it right now. I could not think of pro putt. Pro putt? Yeah. You I don't know if I'll get it right now, but Oh, my Vita's out of battery. I can't prove it on my Vita. I brought my Vita home from storage the other day and I could not tell you where I put it down. 
I wouldn't be surprised if it's still in that pair of pants. Buddy squad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> squad. So bad. So bad. It's so not, bad. It's great. It's so great. You you are a piece of cheese. I did it for the meme, man. <laughs> did it for the meme. I think I I think I sent you a picture of it when I first did it on the Vita. I was just like, you, you did go, it. I was like, Buddy Squad. I was like, is this a picture that you took from years ago? Oh no, this is today. Okay. This is, this is also. Mad. I tr I went to add ProPut to my wish list and I accidentally bought it. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, that just means that we could, you know, <laughs> we could play it sooner. Top golf All slash right. pro putt. <laughs> Dude, we can. I almost said hacky sack. Now you've got me thinking hacky sack. Yeah. Hey, we can play let's, some cornhole. Let's play. Dude, cornhole. Yeah. We throw up a YouTube video. Old yes. school game grumps. Yo, watch the uh, Sonic Dude, O6 Dude, what's, what's Chowder on? Is that on Hulu now? Let's see if we can get Hulu going and just watch Chowder while we play some Hacky Sack. Some, Dude, some Cornhole. Dude, Chowder on? I think it's Dude, on Hulu. I can't even spell Chowder. No, I don't want just normal Chowder TV show. Yeah, it's on Hulu. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's also on, I think, HBO Max is what it's saying. Maybe. For those for those people who don't know, and that will be almost everyone except for Brooke, Noah and I, and Ben for that matter, a friend, one of our close friends from uh, middle school and high school, Ben, uh, we would hang out at Noah's place, and we we watched Chowder so much, <laughs> like when we found out it was on Netflix, we we loaded up Chowder, <laughs> and we just had it playing in the background whenever we were doing anything. We watched through all of it like five times. Yeah, five times in like a week. And then great. we start it over. Noah, you know what it's going to be like? We'll throw up some Sword Art Online for old school. Do you remember when we like, yeah, when we threw up Sword Art Online on like five screens? Yes. <laughs> and we way, didn't we... do it by duplicating the screen. We did it by... No, we had it on five separate devices. <gasps> we had it on five we had different on the computers. PS3, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, the computer, the PS4... <laughs> Uh, but see, yeah, in Pro Putt, there? man, there's like five screens just sitting around, and they all play the same thing. So we'll just do that, dude. I'm excited. Uh, I will get that downloaded once I. Uh, yeah, so I had I had the website pulled up right here, right? Mm -hmm. And I went to hit uh, add to wish list, and then it went down. Uh. Now I will say it is my fault for entering in the pen. <laughs> I entered in the pen and it bought it, but I wasn't paying attention. I'm over here talking to you. It's, I'm not saying it's your fault. Hundred percent my fault, but it's a good fault to have. Yo, wait a minute. Okay, no so here's something else. Free full course update coming I just November saw 18th. That. Yeah, November 18th. So apparently they're adding like a full, a full course to things as well. That's gonna be really cool. So. And I, I actually, I'm going to, this is like a little more backstory into my, I'm going to turn on this light. Me too. Echo, turn the office light on. The, uh, a little oh, more. That's, that's too bright. Focus on me. There we go. Uh, my first like experience with VR was watching an old achievement or no, no, no an old fun house video where they played this game called Cloudlands VR Mini Golf. That was like that was at the time when the Vive was like the headset yep. to have, like when it just came out. Cuz it was and, it uh, had cuz the original Oculus that came out didn't have motion didn't, didn't have hand tracking. It was only headset. Yeah. yeah. Um so when the Vive came out, it had like actual hand wands and like full directional mm -hmm. movement tracking. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, so I uh, I watched them play that. So I bought that game. I have if I click on it, I bought that game 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't even tell me when I bought it. But like I've, 20, I've had this. 2015? Yeah, probably twenty between 2015 to 2017, I've owned this game. I bought a VR headset like three A couple days ago. ago. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've not had... I have Borderlands I've 2 VR. So long. I want to play that. Um, no, I have I have a lot of games that support VR on PC. So like I have Borderlands 2 VR. I have budget cuts, and those are all VR games. But well, I also I have like Dirt get, Rally 2.0, which just has like a VR I need mode. To get your uh, <laughs> my Steam stuff set back up. Yeah, I see on here that I have you set up on mine, but it's probably not. It's not this computer anymore. So yeah, exactly. Um, I have, dude, No Man's Sky. Do you have No Man's Sky on PC? Uh, I I have it through Game Pass. I don't have it on. Uh, I think that still works. Because that has a VR. That has it. You can play it fully in VR. I'm checking right now because I think I have it downloaded. Yeah, I have it downloaded. Um, I can play Sega Mega Drive and Sega Genesis Classic games in VR. <laughs> oh, that sounds really because cool. because the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Classic collection that's on Steam, uh, and also yeah. on PlayStation uh, has a VR mode where you can ha you'll have a controller in your hands, right? Like the Xbox controller, the PlayStation controller, and you'll sit down yeah. and you'll put the headset on, and it'll put you in like a kid's room with like the C oh, CRT in front of you, and you just play it on that. Oh, what's you just reminded me? Of I have game. Star I Trek Bridge that... Crew. What's it called? Like Duck? Not Duck Hunt. Is it Duck Game? Duck. Yeah, that like. Also made by Stress Level Zero, Duck Season. That game that that is like a play on Duck Hunt, but yeah. What's Surgeon it? Simulator also supports VR. I don't. I still don't think I own that. Oh, and I have I, I have Half Life Alex. Yes, I did see that, and that's why I also wanted to have your uh... <laughs> my stuff so you could play Half Life Alex. Yeah. Oops. So there's uh there's some some good some good VR games that I own. I so here's I want to play Skyrim VR because yeah. I modded the crap out of it. Dude. But I modded the crap out of Skyrim VR and so it doesn't open. Oh no. It hangs on the loading screen at the start. Because it loads into that, it, well, it doesn't even hang. It loads into the starting area, to like mm -hmm. to like the main menu area, which is like it's its own entire, um, like little area that you can walk around. It loads into that, and then the buttons that say "New Game" are just not there. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Or like continue just aren't. So like I I can't do anything with it. I have Doom VFR. And... Isn't that uh, isn't that it's not it's not like actually doomed though it's like it is but it's it's like a it's weird it's it it deserves the mixed reviews that it has it doesn't have oculus support you can still do stuff yeah it still works uh it's just you have to then f you have to basically translate what each button actually is from the vive um but also like it's not fun <laughs> so so there's that too i kind of want to try fallout 4 vr to be entirely honest i would play that it also has very try. mixed reviews um and also it. does not support the oculus out of the box mm. um Have you played accounting? No, but I've seen it. And the only reason I haven't bought it is because I've seen that like you can beat it in like two hours. I think it's free. Accounting simulator? Or not accounting simulator? Uh, yeah, it's free. Accounting like, plus? Uh, oh, accounting legacy. Yeah, because like that's... Accounting legacy is... I did not is, know about accounting plus. Yeah, accounting oh, plus hey, hey, is... It's three bucks right now. But if I'm going to get that... I'm going to get it on native. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. They've got the uh, ultimate 
VR comedy bundle with virtual virtual reality, accounting plus, vacation simulator, job simulator, Rick and Morty virtual regality, and Trover saves the universe. I have Trover saves the universe on PlayStation VR. That was the first place that I saw it was uh, someone playing it on PSVR. It's got some decent Which, humor. Yeah, it's pretty goofy for sure. I'm excited for dude. Oh yeah, uh, back to what I was saying earlier. So Cloudlands VR mini golf is like, like my 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 way into VR. I have so many mini golf VR games. <laughs> So you're saying earlier, like, I don't know if you like like golf and one. Dude, I love golf. I have Cloudlands VR mini golf. I have another well, mini, mini golf. Well, mini golf is different than golf. Yes, yes. Oh, very much so. Because top much so. golf is just golf. But but And it's also just do, like a driving range. Like <laughs> do that. I also just love golf. And so I was I was very excited to uh to hear that there are more dope as heck. Uh, mini games. golf and, and golf games and yeah so I have let me try and find it I got the fun games and friends pack which came with 11 oh I can't see it because the pictures are so small let me try and pull it up Uh, 11 table tennis have you played that Uh, no I have not Dude, I love that game so much. I have played the crap out of it. It's actually a really fun game to on Steam play or on the friends. on the Quest. On the Quest, and then uh, Walkabout Mini Golf. Walkabout Mini Golf. I want to get. Dude, I highly suggest it. You can get a bundle with Walkabout Mini Golf, eleven table. Uh, table tennis and then it also comes with creed boxing uh but it's the price of buying two of them two of them and you just get all three so i just went i just did that i mean look but, dude what i want to i want to get missed as well missed yeah like the old like the old school like point and click puzzle game missed oh yes they have they like fully remade it in vr are you serious and the the only bad reviews coming from it are um the fact that there's like no note taking app in in it right now but they're like wanting to add that but they've been saying that they're going to add that for like the past year um also that that pack i'm looking for that pack right that, uh, I had to, that I had to close that tab because even though I clicked pause, it kept playing very loudly in my ears. <laughs> That's so oh. cool, though. I'm looking for that uh, that that pack of games. I don't think that that is available anymore. I think that was a oh, sale, really, like a couple weeks ago. But I don't think that's currently on sale anymore. Big sad. I don't know if Walkabout is multiplayer. I want to say it's not. Walkabout mini golf? I almost guarantee it is. Yeah, single player or multiplayer. Then I have not paid attention. Yeah, you can create you can do 1v1 online quick match or create a private room with up to 5 people. What? Dude, I've had this game for weeks and i have never noticed that i might get it i might get it it's only 15 I bucks just it. it's very 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 fun like what was it, the other one was 11 table tennis yes one of my favorite things about walkabout on each hole dude there is a hidden golf ball so you can then change what your golf ball so you unlock more golf ball skins mm -hmm. by finding them i need to add some stuff to my wish list because uh like blade and sorcery gotta add that to my wish list yes i i just added that to my wish list earlier 
That being said, how do I how do I do that on the mobile app? There, that button. Dude, the mobile app sucks. <laughs> it kind of does. Like it it kind of does. Oh yeah, they're yeah. they're adding they they're adding slash added a whole bunch of like 2D apps like Facebook and Instagram and like spike email. Uh, what? I did not know that. Yeah, so like they're adding like 2D apps because it's basically just an Android device but on a headset. Yeah, you know? that's true. I that's why that's why I put Discord on there. Was so that I could like if I'm ever just like not doing anything, I could just chat. Yeah. With the headset on. And because it oh, you know what? No. Sometimes some of the side loaded apps run because you can do multitasking. Some of them work with multitasking, but I don't think Discord is one of those apps. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we yeah, have been anyways. talking for a while. Yeah, about one about, topic. <laughs> about one topic. Um, and Noah and I haven't like Noah and I talked for like an hour before this, and and we talked an hour like through this thing. So like, <laughs> we've been hanging out for yeah since like four twenty. Yeah, just blaze. So, but yeah, I- we're probably gonna have to call it. Here in a here in a minute. Yeah, I have to go get my license plate. Because uh, Noah's got to get got to get license plate. Got to be able to drive. Yeah, and he's got he's got to hurry to do that so we can play some VR. VR. Even though he's not gonna play VR with me, he's gonna play VR with his wife. Yeah, how dare I? Yeah, uh, how dare you have a wife? Yeah, she did. She doesn't even she doesn't even know the trick shots. <laughs> she doesn't even watch Chowder. Actually, she might, but. <laughs> She doesn't even watch Chowder. I need to write that down. I'm going to start a list of things that Chandler does better than my wife. <laughs> I don't think you should make that list, Noah. Noah, if you want, do you want to stay married, Noah? <laughs> <laughs> I want I, Chowder. I, you, you and your wife are really good together, Noah. Please. You don't want to be doing this, Noah. I also stole her chair. Because I only have a stool. Why do you why do you keep taking her furniture? <laughs> did you take her desk too? No, this one was mine. Okay. Oh, I did that. I did that before. Yes. Okay. But this this one's mine. I got this one for graduation. Hmm. Ah, it moves. I rem- I remember you talked about that now. Alrighty. Well, we better we better wrap this up. So. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming out, everyone. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you for joining. We'll see, we'll see you next time. Oh. Uh.